Serve, serve. Berries. I was like, okay, so that's why I remember being so angry. Who did I attack again? Um, <laughs> well... Before you, you, before you get into that, before you get into that, uh, D, can you just roll me a strength, a strength check or athletics or whatever? Anything, um, some some strength thing. Just I just want I just want uh, it's really like 17, 18, 19, 20 I'm curious about. Be <laughs> funny bit picked up by either kebab or big man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just just ah, oh, oh, you're so, so close. Bad. No, I'm giving it anyways. It'd be a funny bit. Uh, Silas, your nose is broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> your nose is broken. Uh, and the and the healing didn't fix that, so you yeah, your nose is broken. Oh you gotta, gotta get that. Gotta get that reset and then healed. Yeah, it'll be fine. Right as right. Oh, that's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> it hit oh, you have to talk with the weird like... like speech thing for the next session. No, oh, yeah, like with a lisp or something. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. <laughs> you, you don't have to, but to everyone, to everyone else, like you everyone's character hear Silas talking a bit, a bit. The nasal part is a bit off. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you as you as me, not can just talk normally. <laughs> Gotta put that unarmed strike. <laughs> good, good narrative measure. <laughs> when you when you breathe through your nose, a little whistle happens, like <laughs> <laughs> awkward windpipes. You don't yeah. remember how your nose got broken to you. <laughs> All I remember is being fucking hit hard. <sighs> you tripped and fell right on it. <laughs> <laughs> you tripped down the stairs. Mm -hmm. There's no stairs here. <laughs> you tripped over the, the wall. <laughs> yeah, the stairs disappeared just as quickly as they appeared. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't remember how my nose got broken. Ow. Uh, it's best not to dwell on the details. Um, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I just There's hope you're problem. doing okay now. No murderous intent? Not really, no. Can I roll for initiative? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> You want to fight? I no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, my, my bad insight, yeah. Go on site. <laughs> I'm I'm sure job. No. <laughs> yeah, the science is on the up and up. They wouldn't betray you a second time. Surely. <laughs> what are we like third at this point? Oh my god, I'm sorry. It would be insane. such an Omega bluff if if they second, third, whatever number it is. Sure, they wouldn't do it again, plus one. <laughs> it's fine. Smile. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I just want to open up. <laughs> <laughs> so. Silas, welcome back to the world of consciousness. We're not sleeping us. Yeah, you're unconscious when you're asleep. Are you, though? Looks it's at gonna you bring you in this. I was just gonna crawl over the fence and sit <sighs> on it. Uh, <laughs> hold their nose. Follow. Uh, I saw us enter his periphery, uh, Ajax Tool. Look down the road at them. See that they're not squaring up anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and point them with his spear. Talking to Porter. Them. Their parents own this farm. Oh, yeah. Silas. So, so uh, you... I assume I can hear him. I feel like we're not yeah. that far. Nope. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're not that far. How you been? Get in front of Silas. Uh, I've, I've had better days. Oh, I've, I've already... Wait, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. For what? You were looting oh. my farm! It's gonna go to waste when no one's around. That Dang, cabinet will that. look fantastic in the kitchen. Holding all my spices. Uh, it looks better in my kitchen. Your kitchen, you ain't even around. They are now. Think of it as reposition. Getting it in a proper home. Like a cat, or a dog, in the street. Oh. 
<laughs> looks at what? Silas as he says, like a cat. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, Silas's <laughs> ears like lower. And you know, they do kind of remember what it was like, that murderous rage, right? Corner all got eight health, they can take a slap. They glare at him <laughs> and just say, think of it as try this shit again. And you already saw what we did to the rest of your crew. Eh. Fair enough. All porn. Hmm? We need to find Fergus. <laughs> Good luck. You're going to help us. I don't know that much. I don't even know where he is. You've got to know something. What do I get out of it? Insight. Does he really not uh, know what as as he's letting him? Okay. Uh, make sure. Could use guidance on. And do we get guidance from Tolist or? I'll say yeah. Hey. <coughs> <laughs> may, may I may I do an insight as well? <laughs> Elevate it to a fifteen. <laughs> uh, whopping fifteen. Uh, yeah, you can roll inside as well. You got a D four. Oh, D4, yeah. 2D4. Uh, where's... Indeed. <laughs> so oh my dude. god! Oh, dude. And another one. If you get a 3. Get a 4 with that 4? <laughs> oh, I got another D4? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, are also your Jesus. special... <laughs> They're just ignoring you, Alec. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, D4 oh, from being one of Kadir's is... Foster family, and you had a D4 from Tolis for magical guidance. Ah, uh, okay. So, 21. Uh, well, this will apply to both of you, the 15 and the 21. Maybe he knows more, but it's a question of, like, he doesn't know what you know. Hmm. Right? So, like, he may know less than you, more than you. It's hard to... He doesn't know himself, so inciting him doesn't reveal how much he actually does know in... Comparison. In terms of if he's hiding anything from you, no. It's not an overt effort in hiding things from you, but, you know, it's like lying by omission, mostly because he doesn't know. Hmm. Oh. As I return to the group, um, overhearing that last, what do I get out of it? I would say, well, if Silas is amenable to the idea, I suppose that. There will be a vacuum once Fergus is no longer in the picture. Someone has to fill that spot. And what makes you think that you gotta get rid of Fergus so easily? <laughs> it's not a matter of thinking, it's a matter of about being determined to see that through. A lot of the determined people will go up against Fergus. I don't really hear you. about them. Hmm? None of them were us. <laughs> From the man. A lot of them said, I imagine a lot of them said that too. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna roll. I don't know about. Um, oh. I'm gonna roll just in terms of like which ones wake up first. Uh, I guess I'll just do that. I'll roll 3D100 and then uh, it goes top, bottom, middle. So, Zrix first, second, third. Okay, so, random in <laughs> NPC individual wakes up first, then Angus, then Zrix. There you go. So, this guy wakes up. He's chilling. <laughs> He's super hurt. He's chilling. He's holding his sides and leaning on a wall, but chilling. So, this will point to the three outlaws um, and be, I don't know about, and say, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know about these three, but we, and it's also kind of motion to, at least those of River Company that are near, near them, we've dealt with a lot worse than whatever Fergus can put up with, or put up, sorry. Hmm, I don't know about that. Oh. <laughs> what, is he know. a fell god or something? <laughs> No. Well then, no. Then he can't. We've already done better. Wait, really? Really. Tolus opens their mouth to say something, but stops. 
There's a time for correcting things, a time for not correcting things. This is time to not correct that. <laughs> the most dangerous thing you guys encounter are people jumping you in your sleep. Normal folk. <laughs> yes, that is the fell guys you guys are prepared for. It's the unprepared <laughs> stuff that is something you should worry about. Where is Tallis? There, there. Tallis is making character growth. She's refraining from the thing. Oh my god! <laughs> She's going Progress. up so fast. Counter argument to that: those people were also set up by the Lord Seekers specifically on how to take us down. <laughs> no, they were just told where you slept. They could have found that out the same day. If anything, the Lord Seeker saved you guys by not getting killed. But yes, he didn't he did. arm them. He didn't tell... He told them to use a weaker poison. Like, by all accounts, they could have jumped you guys still. Thanks for looking out, man. Long. It was just would have taken more time. And then you guys also would have had to deal with Deed's brother at that time, too. He did us a solid. Mm -hmm. You need to keep your criminals in check. An organized criminal underworld is, albeit slightly more dangerous, much better than an unorganized criminal underworld. So, going back to criminals and their organization, you say that out to Porter. And he looks skeptic. Most because people don't usually talk about killing fell gods ever, <laughs> unless they're liars <laughs> or toll tellers. Right. <laughs> Well then, if you're so amazing, why are you asking me? Oh. The fastest avenue to the information is standing right there, and I point at him. What well, information there is to be had? As I was just saying. Good luck. I don't know, nothing. Oh. When was the last time you saw the riot? <clears throat> oh. Three months ago. That's about right. Long time. We don't really go talk with the riot. He's too busy. I heard he's skipping town soon. Heard that too. Oh. Either tonight or tomorrow. Something like that. Hmm. Are you taking all these supplies? Hmm? My house. Uh, do we know oh. where his house is? Yeah, he lives towards the... Well, you... You outlaw people know. Uh, Fergus lives on the uh, northern edge of town. I guess Fergus slightly... Or or my bad, Porter, my bad. Uh, Porter lives on the northern part of town. Slightly west, if that. It's like five degrees to the west. Um, it's sort of... It used to be an abandoned place. No one knows what happened to the owners. A lot of people speculate that he went... Uh, really depresso and went to the damn forest by himself and never came back out. Um, so his small little farm was outproduced by nearby farmers, but no one owns the land technically because the owner died. So Porter and this crew here just sort of set up shop there and, you know, they give over the crops to the nearby farmers who don't really ask any questions. No one's tending the land anyways. Porter isn't a fucking farmer, so you know, they started letting half of that place and no one asked any questions. The squatters. Right. Uh, oh, shit, I was going to ask. Uh, where are you taking the supplies? And then Porter's like, my house. Right. Uh... Oh. Uh... Uh... Hmm. How to phrase this. Oh. So you don't know where the, where the riot is now. Would you be able to set up a meeting? <laughs> On the eve of him skipping town? Likely not. If even if I did have that poll, I'm pretty sure his paranoia wouldn't allow for it. Is and he I don't usually in the habit of kidnapping people? Is that his MO? I've heard he's done it once or twice in the past in other towns before he should set up here. I you should ask him. He points at Saeed. Who's like in the middle of like holding a hand to his like freaking face <laughs> as blood is trickling down in a steady stream onto the soil. You've been with Fergus or Longest. Uh, 
Look at Saeed him. Saeed lowers his hand and then just spits out blood when he tries to talk. Just... <laughs> he just puts his hand over his mouth again. Hmm? Do you know what happened to the people who lived here? Silas's parents. He shakes his head slowly. Uh, Brasilia will come over and heal him. Hey, that's cure wounds. Yeah, it's a it's twelve. Like, hey, it's enough be. for it's an it's enough for his face to not be as messed up. But not enough to be able to one shot him. <laughs> what? You guys can one hundred percent still one shot him. He only has fifteen HP currently. Um, Priscilla comes over, and this is what happens when you reap what you sow. She heals him. He spits out some loose blood that was in his mouth after the healing. He still shakes his head. Shy does not know. No, oh, no, he talks in third person. <laughs> uh, Ajax will insight. So. Roll, roll insight. Oh, he shouldn't be from. Can I? Also yeah, do I believe him? That's... Yeah, yes, yeah, anyone inside? Sure. <coughs> Aha! Oh my god! There we go. Just fucking destroy it, my guy. Very good. <laughs> fucking uh, smoke step twenty five feet. <laughs> mm -hmm. go All right, baby. Bitch. Yeah, go up in his face. <laughs> All right, so I think uh, was that 31, oh, yeah, 31. 20, 20. Yeah, I think uh, a thirty one and two twenties beats a four deception. Yeah, he he, <laughs> he has an idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just cross my arm, look at him, like really, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He crosses he his arms back as he leans against the post weakly. Saeed does not answer to you. Saeed just got his life saved by me, so I can undo what I did. Very Roll easily. Ajax <laughs> will uh, thumb over to Sajar and say, He may not have the cat's claws, but I can guarantee he can hurt you just as badly. Worse. I believe Run it division. might be in Saeed's best interest to start talking. Mm -hmm. Uh, would I have been assisting there? I'd say yeah. Okay, because I'm proficient. That'd be roll your own. Uh, Something you. I don't think I can get better than the. Well, I haven't seen Modifier CL. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, give it a shot. Give it a shot! Oh, no, one less. Oh, oh no, you can do that whole time? <laughs> Shit. Nope. See a bit of arcane energy crackle in Sajar's knuckles. <laughs> can I move to box him in here? Like, can I just, can I move here? If you want, sure. <laughs> Everyone just slowly gets around him. <laughs> yeah, start flipping yep. people here. Just come on. Keep it on Porter, though. Oh. Uh, yeah, we get uh, they, they He's a big guy. We see him. Come on, slay him. He's eating this whole time, you fools. He has over 100 <laughs> HP again. <laughs> <laughs> you fool. No, it's gang. Um, <laughs> He's over there eating dog biscuits. <laughs> My God. Got them porter snacks. He squints at you, Ajax. That's a successful person that rolled a net 20. <laughs> You say he helps you with this. You must promise, Saeed. Promise. He wags a finger at you. That Saeed will be next to take his position. You must set the shop. Oh wait, he he wants to take the right he, one. He, yeah, he wa he wants to be the next up. The new head. Uh, <laughs> what's this man's track record? From, if we know it. Yeah, from what we know about Saeed. How would he fare in Fergus's place? Uh, that's. Uh, I'd say if you're, this is really only to the outlaw crew. Roll me a combination, a combo roll set of uh, history and insight. Because there's one thing hearing about the history. There's one thing in intuiting what the history is. Just like real history right. books. So just guidance for the history. You can have guidance for both, oh, man. Ah, he's bad uh, at it. But then the the deer's perfect. guidance. And guidance for the <laughs> well. <laughs> so twenty-one into twenty-two. 
Did I, okay, one of us roll good. On Let me just get my two D fours out. Okay, one of us. So Morver, you definitely yeah. remember the precedent. Mm. Uh, Ajax, you're definitely able to read into said precedent. Delphi, it's a bit of a blur. Yeah. You don't really pay much attention, I guess. <laughs> Said has been, uh, as far as your guys' recollection, not that you guys, like, stalk them or anything, Fergus is, like, not left hand because, like, Said is nowhere near powerful enough to be there. By all accounts, this gang that you guys are meeting here is, like, one of the lower gangs in, in the riot. Mm -hmm. Like, they're not a top dog gang, they're towards the bottom. Um, because they sort of just dick around and do whatever they want, yeah. as you can tell by them looting this house for no apparent reason. Other than this house is empty, but still their cabinet. Yeah, so that's literally it, right? Like they're not really. They are given. They don't want responsibility, and they are given responsibility, uh, with the exception of Said. Said supposedly was with Fergus for a long time, as per what Porter just said. But something happened at some point that got Saeed uh, assigned to this group. <laughs> yeah. Apparently before that, people were wondering if Fergus and Saeed... Are, well, people still wonder if they're related. That might just be casual <laughs> top goblin racism, but that's besides the point. Um, they wonder if they're related, not only because they're both hobgoblins, ha ha ha, racism, but also because they're very similar. Like, they both are very... No, I don't want to say students. They're very strict. They're very disciplined. Mm. Uh, Fergus is definitely way better than Saeed, but is that a question of that uh, Saeed is worse or just a matter that Fergus has had more time and exposure and training experience that Saeed wants, but he just never got? Not from Fergus or any of the other main gangsters, so to speak. Um, and it's almost to a point that he doesn't... It's sort of a sticking point now. This is where Ajax is coming in. Saeed doesn't even train with... He definitely doesn't try any of these chuckle fucks here because they're all semi incompetent. Although they do keep him on his toes. But it's also a point that Said almost has this sort of internal dogma, this code, this creed that he doesn't train with anyone. He doesn't need them. He'll get better on his own. <laughs> to varying degrees of success. He definitely has a very unorthodox way of using certain weapons and stuff like that that others don't. But, uh, you know, that's a little, little, little parlor tricks. How would he do in terms of leading? He would probably be very, very similar to Fergus. Uh, maybe a bit better, because Fergus is like very iron. Like Fergus is very iron fist in terms of like how he runs his gang. Not necessarily what he does, but in how he runs his gang. Said will probably be relatively similar, but he definitely has a bit more of a open mindedness when it comes to uh, unorthodox people and stratagem, as evidenced by himself as well as the people he hangs around with. To be fair, he didn't get to choose the people he's around with. But he adapted to it. He had to. He still isn't really successful in corralling them. Like, officially, Saeed probably outranks them. Mm. Influence and respect-wise, Porter outranks all of them. Obviously, because it's Porter. Uh, we, and we have no idea what inciting incident brought him down in the ranks like that. Like, that's like hush -hush. You guys aren't a member of the riot. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. You guys heard, you guys heard rumors. Right. Like, there, supposedly there is a time where Saeed snapped at Fergus, which is a very rare thing that he didn't just get his eyes gouged out for such a thing. Um, there are other times where it's like one. Saeed actually did train with Fergus. One of the, this is one of the rumors that Saeed did train with Fergus, but he actually he didn't win, but he got like a cheeky one-shot in on him. And that still pissed off Fergus of whether he demoted him. Uh, so I'm saying that this is like some weird hobgoblin tribe tradition that you have to start from the bottom and work your way up. So Fergus uh, accelerated that by pushing him all the way to the bottom. <laughs> There's a lot of different rumors and probably only a small subsect of the upper, the old rioters actually know. Okay. None of these guys are that. Besides, No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Sai so might actually be willing to die as opposed to let that secret slip. <laughs> You and Fergus had a falling out. Is that what they say? Is that what you say? I did not say meanless words. You know that he didn't say say that time. <laughs> this is personal for you, then. 
No. This is not personal for Saeed. This is business. I think we can come to an arrangement. Both of us want Fergus out of the picture. We can make that happen. Mm. I had one more clause. Once again, he says, I, not Sade. Mm -hmm. No. He throws a thumb over at Angus and Zerix. Sade asks that you leave them alone. Why? So I think they will make good lieutenants. No point in wasting. He, he makes no effort to hide the fact that he looks over and stares at Angus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the psychopath goes to a fight club with a knife. <laughs> Angus is like twitching in his semi-conscious from like... <laughs> Like, Aww, he's dreaming about chasing people. Oh, he's dreaming about stabbing people. Oh, yeah, it's a knife stab. <laughs> Give me my words! Shank. There's a reason the face spirit is perched up on the tree above Angus this whole time. <laughs> Are those all your clauses? He thinks. Oh, that's how you can think of now. If we shake okay. on this, you can't add any more later. He was out of hand. I would think of more. What do you say? I would think of more. <laughs> you will think of more. <laughs> well, those aren't the ones I'm shaking on. Uh, and as he reaches up, uh, he spares a glance over at uh, Morvir and Delphi, but uh, he'll reach up and shake his hand and say, I swear that you will live long enough to take Fergus's place, and they'll live long <laughs> enough to see you. He squints at the very specific <laughs> wording on that. Hmm. The temporary alliance. Are you good with this? I'm not thrilled with the idea of someone taking Fergus's place, but that's a problem for another time. Age is he just not in a position of negotiation. He takes hand and shakes it. Do. He jacks us over at Eustacher. I think it's obvious what our intentions here are. Family is important. Silas here is my family. And you mess with my family, I will hunt you to the end of the provinces and beyond. We need to bring them back to this place, their home, where they belong. That is why I am here. Understand that. Okay. Hey. Good. <laughs> he, he hit you with a K back. <laughs> right at 842. And also, this is just like, we're family. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> All right. We're all good, then. Oh. All good. Angus also, Sandra. everything in that cart still belongs to Silas. And the horse, and the car and the cart. <laughs> Do you want to feed that horse, by the way? He's looking a little scrawny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I fed him earlier. I fed him earlier. You... <laughs> we fed him earlier. <laughs> when we showed up. <laughs> did, did you feed him like 
normal horse things are defeating something for Porter made. I've had proper diet, Terry. <laughs> okay, that's good. She just rolls her eyes. The druid is, like, offended. Angus stands up suddenly. <laughs> Fight over! <laughs> the two rider bandits are like, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I missed you. Quick while he's prone. No. <laughs> hey, he looks at Tolus. Who are you? My name's Tolus. Tolus of the Heartland. Didn't fucking ask ya! <laughs> but, 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 like, but, but he did ask me. And he gets like, like a... leaps over the fence and tries to like, grab a Sajar or like, wrapping his arms around his back and like, bring him down the ground like a WWE move. Yeah! Uh, just gonna roll uh, a grapple check here from a past. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to shoot him, but also I really want yeah! to get back on Oh my god, just shoot him. Would I the cloak you. of displacement have a bearing on that? It's not an attack roll, technically. <laughs> because, like, if he's trying to stab at you, like, he might attack your displacement, but if he's just got a bear hug all around you, it doesn't matter if he's grabbing the displacement or you in the middle of it. You get that's got. fair. That's fair. You're sure it's of athletic acrobatics. Ooh, oh, right oh no. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my you gotta, god. You gotta do that one again? <laughs> oh my god. That's oh, that reminds me, I need to put a nat 20 for D for that there initiative roll. Give me, a, give me a sec. There's a nat 20 initiative over there. Please roll anything I but that. Magic man. Magic man. <laughs> Alright. Well. Uh, Sound of that uh, one. <laughs> yeah, so Sajar just disappears behind the other side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he, he, no, he leaps over the wall and, like, oh, grabs okay. at Sajar. So the two of you are now prone, and, uh, hold on, give me a second, I need to put the prone icon. <coughs> oh, my back. Oh, my God. You also, you also get the, uh, on my back. <laughs> yeah, so, as Angus, like, lunges over the stone wall and, like, grabs it, like, ha! Like a fucking rabid dog. The face spirit just drops and lands on Angus. <laughs> for, for a fairy being mythically light, it definitely puts some weight into landing on him.